Good morning. Good Sunday morning. Not exactly a good weather-wise morning. Uh, very, very, very disappointing in the Jewett City flea market today. I had my mind made up that I'm going no matter what the weather is. We only had about three or four outside vendors today. Very, very poor turnout, which I kind of figured, okay? Uh, the only thing I bought out there is a, uh, a brand new cord, three-prong plug on it, in case I needed to add to any piece of equipment or anything that needs a new cord with a, a third prong. Uh, two bucks. Power cord. Brand new, never used. So, six foot. So that will be coming in handy for anything I, that needs a cord. I always buy things like that. But, <clears throat> when we were coming back from Jewett City, and we stopped at McDonald's along the way, off the highway, and picked up an iced coffee for my wife, because I wanted to do that on the way back so that the ice wouldn't melt, I figured we'd go to Goodwill. Uh, and Goodwill normally doesn't have any bargains. Uh, I find their prices inflated considering that they get all their items free of charge. And I realize they have people they have to pay that work there. I understand that. And I don't mind paying a reasonable price, a fair price for something. But sometimes, you know, like um, certain items they get big money for, like VCRs, they get 10 to $15 a piece for them. And they're not worth five. Not nowadays. Nobody wants them. I'm not interested in them either. However... Um, we spotted something here from Goodwill. They put a bag, put it in a bag for me for twenty bucks. What I've been looking for for the bench, my shop, and I've been looking at similar brands like this. But I didn't want, I didn't have the money uh, before, and I still didn't, as long as I wasn't going to pay $100 for a uh, monitor. What it is, is it's the cheapest monitor you could probably get. Element. TV. Flat screen. Um, has the video inputs. However... With my son's eyesight, he looked, came with a remote. I'll, I'll give you a close-up of this. It's got a, some, somebody's writing on here. Oh, KT, a uh, kitchen. So somebody's kitchen TV with the remote. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I had to measure it. It's still too tall for my bench, so I'm going to have to make do with what I got. It's very lightweight, and that's what I wanted. Very lightweight. I don't think it weighs uh, three pounds. But it is, even without the... Um, Ten and a half inches tall. It would probably fit there if I remove the base and make some kind of a holder for it. It wouldn't put too much of a strain on this shelf. This is half inch plywood. There is no sagging on that anyways because the shelf is uh, is seven and a half inches and the rest sits on top of a horizontal two by four. So there is no sag. That's that is three-quarter inch plywood, not OSB crap board. I don't use OSB crap board anymore. I made the mistake years ago when I did my shed with it. Anyways, 20 bucks. 
Element, which is the cheap brand I think Walmart sells these. And it does come on. And I will give you a close-up of it. Power's on. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Yeah. HDMI. No signal. But it's nice and bright, and that's what I want. I mean, I can use a DVD player. Now, I'm going to show you the jacks on the back of this. Now that I removed the remote from the uh, the back of this, you know, it was taped to the back. Uh, you'll be able to see all the jacks on here, and I'll get. I'm using the uh, uh, Kodak Play Touch so I can get you a close up of it. I'm not going to use the uh, cell phone for close ups. I don't need to be that precise. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so, let's see what we got on the back here. This is the Goodwill uh, sign here. This product has been tested and is in good working condition. Return policy, 24 hours. Damn fine print gets me every time. Uh, hours for store credit with receipt. No refunds. Credits on computers. Okay, that's the Goodwill sticker. 1999. Okay, let me see if I can get. The model number, which I'll probably end up posting on this video in text. All right, I got the model number here. Let's see if I can read it. Element model E L E F W one nine five. Okay. Assembled in the USA. How about that? Okay, I'm going to turn it off now, unplug it, and lay it down on this here so I don't damage the face. It's really, really nice condition. It's no uh, scratches on it, and I don't want to put any on there. Alright, well, if the stand holds it up off there, and it was a, a very lightweight, flimsy stand, but fine. It's easy to move. Now, let me get... Alright, it's got... Um, I don't know what this is. It could be an earphone jack. Optical audio out. Uh, audio in, left and right. Red and white. Video slash Y. I'm not sure what that is. But it looks like it has the green, the blue, and the red. I don't see the yellow composite. I didn't see it in the store, and Tommy was looking at it. And um, he didn't see it either, so... There's a possibility that I may not be able to put my analog camera in here. But if it don't work out for my shop, well, if the CRT TV ever goes in the bedroom, I can always use this there. But let me get you a close-up of this. So hang on just a minute. All right. I don't see that. Familiar yellow input jack. We got the green, the blue, and the red. And the red and the white 
audio input jacks. I'm on macro. So I'll move this in and out a little bit just to get the focus range we want. There's your model number. Get a little closer here just to make sure it's focusing all right. All right, we're off of macro now. We've got a speaker here and a speaker here. And on the side, on this side, all right, and it looks like the, uh, the TV input coaxial. Um, and a USB input here. Now, I don't like using the webcam because it looks horrible. It doesn't look bad on my desktop computer. But my hope is if I can't make get an adapter that will go in here for adapted out of work that is that'll go in here for the red blue and green composite video maybe there's an adapter that'll convert um composite video to uh component video that's what i wanted to say for this for the red blue and green maybe i can plug a webcam into here or my microscope cam that's in a usb I'm hoping that will work. In Walmart, when they, of course, it would have been a hundred bucks, but uh, had I bought one, I might have been up against the same problem without the um, composite video. So, there's a possibility. That maybe I'll be able to locate a composite video input converter that will output red, blue, and green component input. We already know that the one I sent Doug don't work. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up for I don't have a webcam out here but I'm going to try my microscope camera in the jack over here all right here's the menu button really not sure what I'm doing on this The lock doesn't show when you skip down, see, going down, going down, set up, but the lock doesn't show. Hopefully this isn't locked. Okay. Uh, so I really don't know what I'm doing with these things. I, I'm not good at these things at all. I'm not good at a lot of things, to tell you the truth, but exit. Yeah. All right. The only thing that shows up is HDMI in the right-hand corner here. So I guess the only thing to do is to plug in my microscope camera. That's uh, on the other side. Into the USB here. All right. It's plugged in. Here's my light control here. Now, if the light don't come on, that, oh, there it is. It comes on. Okay. So, let's put something down there. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing on this. All right. I don't show anything. 
But the fact that the light works on this means that it's getting power from that USB jack on the back of this thing. So, uh... Auto. SPDF type. They don't ask me what that is. <laughs> Volume, sound, balance, base, treble. Alright. Menu. Menu. Auto. Time. Setup. Menu language. Transparency. Zoom mode. Noise reduction. DLC, whatever that is. Restore defaults. So, that don't do any good. These two don't show anything. They don't, the menu don't step down to that. I am going to have to get the book online if I can to know how to use this. But I, I should be seeing something in here, but all I got is HDMI up here, so. I don't know how you would get, maybe it's auto detect. So, well now, yeah, the light's on. The light's on there, see it? And maybe it's auto detect, but if it is, it's not showing up on the screen. But this would only be the microscope cam. Uh, this is not going to do general work. This is for real, real close-ups, which would be very neat if I could use this for that purpose. Huh. Oh. So, I don't have a webcam here. I have it in the house, but I tried it already on my laptop, my Windows 7 laptop, and the quality was so horrible it couldn't do close-ups at all. It looks good on my Windows 7 desktop, but it looks horrible on my Windows 7 64-bit laptop, which I got at a yard sale last year. So, let me see what we got down here. Source menu. Okay, well, maybe... All right, how do you step? Maybe you step it through here. VGA, okay, USB. No media device. So maybe, I don't know. All right. VGA. That's the, that's the, uh, when you're using the computer, HDMI component. AV. That's component AV. Okay, that's not going to do any good. I need composite. And I guess it went off the screen. I'm very slow with these things. They don't leave it, uh, give you enough time to do that. Okay, this is the TV now. No signal. Okay, so... Let's see what else we got here. Channel up and down and volume up and down. Okay. All right. So we already tried the source. And um, obviously it's not going to work on my...
microscope camera because if it would work on that, it would work on the um, webcam. So there's no point in bringing the webcam in because it's not going to recognize that either. So why would they have a USB on this thing if it's not going to take a USB camera? Maybe it takes a flash drive and you can put pictures on there, watch pictures. <coughs> Maybe. Kind of like a um, electronic photo frame. So, that's what we've got. Let me get you on macro here. No composite video, component video. So, what I got to do is to get an adapter if they make it. I don't know if they do. Just another thing I got to have on the bench with more wires dragging all over. That'll take the yellow component video and come out with the red, blue, and green composite. The red, blue, and green. In other words, the yellow in, the red, green, and blue out so I can go into those three jacks in the back. I get composite and component mixed up. But I think you know what I mean. So I gonna, I'm going to have to search online. But I did want to make this video. I think for $20, it's very good. It doesn't, I doubt it has a digital tuner. But our cable now, even with a digital tuner in the TV, means nothing. you still got to use their box. So um, I don't have cable out here. So... Uh, I'm almost back to square one, but for $20, it'll be a good backup TV for the bedroom, although the screen is a lot smaller. Let me measure this. Measure diagonally exactly 18 inches from here to here. That's how you measure them. So it's an 18-inch monitor, which is good, but it's 10 and a half inches from here to here. But it's very lightweight, and I, I got to just remove this light here and I can hang it up underneath there in front of the variac and on a couple of hooks maybe and take it off and out of the way when I am doing something else like when I'm using the variac okay so that's it on this I think it's a good deal for 20 bucks might as well unplug the microscope cam thanks for watching <clears throat> you have a good weekend everybody